Hello guys, um, just wanted to bring uh, something to you guys' attention. Um, this is the Wakira uh, 215. Um, I have about, I have two of these. Um, have about eight months now. Um, had a lot of problems with um, the PDB board with the receivers. Uh, the major issue is for some reason, um, after about a couple of weeks flying, um, all of a sudden it stops binding to the controller. So I want to demonstrate one of the issues I'm having. This one also has a has the same issue. Um, just started happening about a week ago. Uh, actually, happened this weekend. So um, let me just show you what happens. So we turn the controller on, and then we're gonna try to see if it'll bind. Okay. So it just continues to beep. Um, seems not to want to bind. Um, the board in here, I believe the pins for some reason are, are not working. They're not like they're broken. So, because um, I've had this problem with other boards also, um, purchased about 10 boards already. Um, unable to bind still. I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to plug it back in and see if it binds with the controller already turned on just to show you what I've been dealing with. And it just pretty much uh, just beeps. Okay, so that's the issue. Um, it appears to be, it's probably, I was able to um, push the board in here. I was able to get the receiver board and press back against it at one point um, to get it to actually bind. Um, but um, eventually it stopped working. So anyway, let's turn that off. Let's turn the controller off. And I'm going to show you the actual issue that I'm having uh, with, the, uh, with the drone. Okay. Um, this is what's happening. Here you hear this is the receiver um, that's integrated on top of the PDB board for the Wakira 150. Um, this runs about $60, this board. Um, why did he decide to integrate this receiver on top of this board? I don't know. But um, I've had a lot, a lot of problems with it. Um, actually, I've had, this is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five six and there's another two i sent one on back um i've had other issues too i've actually sent two back so i've had probably about 10 boards in the last eight to nine months that i've had problems with various problems mainly binding problems uh, i've had problems with uh not posting um broken receiver which is this issue um, i've had problems like video issue all right no video uh, bad video same thing here um, this one no video problem um, and also uh, this one bad binding issue which is the same issue I've had with the receiver which I think is breaking um, so what's happening is um, if there's like a hard landing uh, maybe like a, a pavement surface or any kind of surface or any kind of um, thing like that what tends to happen is these little pin these pin the board has got pins in it so um, these pins basically right here which allow the board to basically be attached like this you may not be able to see this or not um, try to bring it a little closer but anyway these pins right here they break off they tend to be breaking off now I'll put a little light on that just so you guys can uh, see that let me adjust this lighting for you so you can see a little better maybe um, Hold it up here a little bit better for you. All right, so you see this? These pins basically are breaking off. They're shaped like I guess it's the from the uh, <clears throat> from the drone. I guess when it crashes down really hard or it presses forward, these pins are breaking. So I've had I've been having this problem throughout. I didn't realize what it was actually going on. I've only this is like the third one I've had. Um, there's one actually on the drone that you just saw that also has the same issue. So I wish Wakira what they would do um, is next time when they do the redesign of this uh, board that they would not integrate the receiver on top of the PDB board. Um, it's causing a lot of problems. Um, it's really fragile and uh, these boards are really, really expensive. I'm a little upset about the whole situation. Um, probably spent about $500 on boards now. Uh, I love the drone, but um, just don't like the fact that 
this is the second one this is another one these receiver boards they just there's bad 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 design okay so anyway i just want to bring that to you guys attention um i hope this video was helpful uh, if you send, tend to have problems with your um receiver not binding to your walk power 215 chances are um one of those pins is broken or damaged on the receiver board um okay all right guys thanks for watching take care